A man picks up a white bird and throws it but into the, bird the air. circled in the sky and then flew back. The man wanted to give it some but food. But the bird flew straight towards him. This startled the man. He immediately ran away. But the white bird didn't seem to want to leave. It flew right up the to the man's shoulder. What was this all it about? It turns out that this strange bird is a wild spoonful. Not long ago, he had spotted the white bird by chance on a the night out. The little was not breathing at the time. Seeing the poor little creature, so the man took it home for treatment and named him Mike in order to help Mike recover as soon as possible. The man would stir up a mixture of men he would feed him with a spoon the men taking care of day him. after day the little spoonball soon grew up Mike grew up with long beautiful legs he also has white feathers over time Mike has come to think of him as his father wherever he went Mike is always at his heels like a naughty child this was a situation that the man was helpless he didn't expect Mike to be so dependent on him but after a all a deer is a wild animal unlike pets I don't understand human language this has led to him being more casual in he the house notorious for dropping feces on the floor yet for this situation, the men are very accommodating. He takes great pains to clean up Mike's mess. But as every soon as he up the mess, a new one is created. The on. other side, Mike's rubbish is the all place over. There was no choice. The man has no but choice but to take a rag and wipe off it. a little. After all, little spoon Whoa. was raised his by his own hands, and he had to bear it all alone. Seeing the man emotionally distraught, state. Mike knew he had made a mistake. He again. went around man the and begging for forgiveness. At this point, the man also knew it was time Let to Mike go back to because nature. Because the man had taken care of Piper was a child. He is now barely for fit. life in the in wild. order to train Mike his in. predatory skills. The man has built artificial pond for him and put some small fish in he it. He wanted him to the learn. The art of hunting. But after half an hour had passed, Mike had caught a single fish. Seeing the situation, the man decided to show Mike how to do himself it. with his patience. Guidance it wasn't long before Mike finally caught a small fish. After several days of training, Mike has mastered the art of catching fish. The man was pleased See this to. Then he began to Mike train. to fly. Man picks the up spoon and throws it the into air, the young spoon is a little nervous for his first flight. But after adjusting the to, situation, Mike soon flew off into the distance, looking at the spoon bowl, soaring through the sky. The man is delighted to soaring through the sky. After one lap, Mike flew back a again. A few days later, the man took Mike to the spoon bill's roof, pointed to the island the distance, and told Mike, "That's your real home. You should live with your brothers and sisters." Seeing his kind the in, distance, Mike walked slowly towards the front, but he hesitated the at the thought of leaving. The man, after a few a moments of thought, Mike turned his head the to man he the man's arm as if to tell him that he didn't want to leave. The scene in front him of him of the good times and with Mike inexplicable sorrow suddenly came him over. Him animals are just like us humans. They also have a lot of feelings. Looking at the little spoonbills he has raised, the man's heart was also filled with sadness. The animal expert was also touched by this true love. Suggested that Mike could be sent to first to live his with own kind. For a while, after he had adapted, he could return to nature. So it was Mike was sent the to the zoo. He was very lonely in his new surroundings. He would often go off into a corner and stare alone. There is a strict hierarchy among the spoonbills. Mike is also ostracized by his kind when he first arrives. He only dares to feed on small fish. The after. other spoonbills have eaten. When he found out what had happened to Mike recent in recent days, the man rushed the zoo to. immediately. He was worried about Mike's health. As the man called out softly, Mike slowly turned his head around. He ran to the man with joy. He was overwhelmed with excitement and it joy. It was as if he was telling him how much he missed him. for days. This Perhaps is the most sincere most.